we finally come to an end of the decade-long magical adventure, which is one of the best identified blends of literary and cinematic storytelling. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 is one such successful combination. Director David Yates takes advantage of the opportunity to close the book on this series by creating a film finale that embraces deep emotional moments with some passion that it celebrates amongst the book fans. Literally, it all springs from the imagination of J.K. Rowling, who took what started as a children's story and created a multi-volume tale for young and old about the intertwined nature of good and evil, the pressures of responsibility and power, and the fun of magical imagination. And cinematically, it is overwhelming epic at times, poetic in places, with action sequences well placed and emotional intellect well spaced. The setup is simple, Harry Potter played by Daniel Radcliffe, Hermione played by the beautiful Emma Watson and Ron Weasley weaved well by Rupert Grint are all together prepared to fight and face the darkest wizard of all times, Voldemort, played by Ralph Fiennes. Trio faces ever more dangerous situations all with the goal of cracking down and destroying the Horcruxes that contain chunks of Lord Voldemort's dark soul in them. Their quest takes them back to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, which now is no longer the place of marvels that it used to be. Instead, it is an embattled shell of its former self, and Harry has to come face to face with Voldemort himself. Alan Rickman continues with his work as Severus Snape and proves he's an acting treasure. Ralph Fiennes manages to turn in an amazing performance despite his face being hidden behind so much makeup and special effects. The key is Radcliffe, who has matured as an actor with each film. His growth has been the anchor to all of the films and it's never been more obvious than in the finale. Just over two hours in length, Deathly Hallows Part 2 is the shortest of all the Harry Potter films and even the semi-committed fans will surely welcome it as a worthy climax to this film franchise. Actually, it is so good that you will wish all the films had been this good. No better way to say a perfect goodbye. This Potter movie helps you define magic on the big screen. And we at Hollywood Backstage give it 4 out of 5 magical stars to a journey that has finally come to an end.